discharged. He says the loss of purpose sent him spiraling. But a little red pit bull named Sapphire would change his life. She would know when I was going through a mood swing. But whenever I'd start getting really manic and she, she, or depressed, she, she would just be all over me. I couldn't ignore her. He fell on hard times and ended up homeless. To make matters worse, he noticed a mass growing rapidly on Sapphire's belly. A veterinarian had bad news. He wanted the money up front uh, for, for the surgery. He said $3,000 to do it. I, I, how am I going to come up with this money now, you know? A vet tech told him about a man who ran a charity called Friends of Pets United. She said, hey, look, I'll take your picture. I'll take Sapphire's picture. Um, and I'll talk to this guy, Anthony, that I know, uh, Anthony DeVolder, and he'll set up a GoFundMe. Did you ever meet Anthony DeVolder? Not face to face. Never met him face to face. No, I, How would you communicate? Mostly by text message. Um, I spoke to him on the phone one time, and uh, he seems really, really, really flirtatious and overly nice, um, like a con man would. He says the online fundraiser was a success. But Richard says the money that could have saved Sapphire never came through. $3,000 was raised. $3,000 was raised. Did you ever see a penny of not that? Not at all. No, not at mm. all. I saw this heartbreak and uh, frustration. That was all he gave me. Sapphire died three months after the money failed to materialize. Wow. Richard says when he raised his concerns with DeVolder, DeVolder became defensive, saying in one message, I'm a well-known and public person. I have done rescues for many years and have a very reputable name for myself. We learned that the Friends of Pets United never filed any documents uh, to be a charity under the IRS rules. I only learned that in January. It was also January when Richard was watching the news and learned that Anthony's full name was actually George Anthony DeVolder Santos. A source close to the GoFundMe situation confirmed to ABC News that it was George Santos who ran the account to help Sapphire. I have no clue. ABC News asked George Santos if he remembered mm. Richard. I want to show you this video. We have a reporter from our team that asked him about you and asked him about this GoFundMe. I just want you to watch this video. Do you remember the gentleman who claims that you took money? From he claimed he never met me. And I never met him. Father Rocker. For him to not be embarrassed by any of it. To be laughing and smiling and joking around like it's all just nothing. Just being so nonchalant about it. It's disgusting. It's so strange and surreal. Who is George Santos? Nobody knows. Our thanks to Rachel. For more on other famous fake outs, including Anna Delvey and Elizabeth Holmes, plus a photo of Santos like you've never seen him before, watch Impact by Nightline, now streaming on Hulu. Coming up, a